Chameleon's Colors by Chisato Tashiro. Chameleon was always changing colors. No matter where he went, his skin would change. From brown to green, from green to yellow, all to match his surroundings. Sometimes even his best friends would walk right by without seeing him. They would think he was a piece of wood, a leaf, a flower, or a stone. Oops! Sorry, chameleon! Hippo almost stepped on him. I didn't even see you. I know, said chameleon. No one ever sees me. I'm sick of it. Hmm. I think it would be fun to change colors, said Hippo. What? Chameleon was surprised. Day after day, I'm the same old muddy gray, Hippo explained. I wish I could be a different color. Well, if that's what you really want, said Chameleon. He grabbed some pink blossoms, stomped on them, and splashed the juice all over Hippo. Oh, that's fabulous, said Hippo. Now I'm pink, like you. Chameleon smiled happily. He had a great idea. That night, Chameleon stayed up late, collecting flowers, fruit, and leaves. He squeezed out their juices and mixed them in little coconut shells. He couldn't wait for morning. Chameleon's colors, bear or flea, tell me what color you want to be. Chameleon sang as loudly as he could. The wind carried his voice throughout the jungle and soon, the animals began to arrive. What would you like? called Chameleon. Choose your style. Striped, polka dotted, checkered, flowered, any pattern under the sun. What a great idea, Chameleon, said the animals. They all went home, colorful and happy. Chameleon was very happy too. He had become the most popular animal in the whole jungle. But the next day, Lion started complaining. Mm, these colors are a big mistake, he said. I'm hungry, but I can't even tell the difference between a zebra and a hippo. How am I supposed to recognize my dinner? Lion is right, hissed Snake. I can't hide in the grass anymore. You can see my bright red skin from a mile away. Soon, all the other animals were complaining too. Life was so much easier with our old colors. Now everything is messed up and it's all your fault, chameleon. Change us back. They rushed toward him angrily. They chased him to the edge of a cliff. Trembling, Chameleon closed his eyes, turned the color of the rocks, and waited. Suddenly, a clap of thunder roared through the sky, and huge sheets of rain poured down, washing the colors off the animals. Chameleon breathed a sigh of relief. <sighs> when the sun came out, the jungle was back to normal. The stripes were on the zebras instead of the lion, 
and Chameleon was back to normal too, changing from brown to green, from green to yellow, all to match his surroundings. The end.